<laughs> What's up all you British Gardens peoples? Yeah, spring break week two. We're gonna see how busy it is. Uh, last week we saw waiting times up to three hours, 190, 180 minutes. Wow. I don't know. Stay tuned. We'll get some onboard uh, front row view of uh, Iron Gwazi with the pieces of beams that were taken away. And maybe some other rides too. Well, now that it is officially open, Iron Gwazi has no more walls around the place. The DJ booth is still there though, but it's all opened up, looking nice and pretty. Now we are going up the handicap ramp. For a nice view of the ride. Off ride. Doesn't she look beautiful? <laughs> okay, all you bush yard and junkies here. I'm with one of the uh, maintenance guys here, Andrew. Yes, sir. My name and, is Andrew. And he has so, so much great information about this roller coaster. So tell me, um, first off, who built it? Uh, RMC, Rocky Mountain Coasters. Right, RMC. And, and what are they well known for? Not their trains. Oh, <laughs> not valleying their trains. Yeah. Having really good for, coasters. For, for re rebuilding them. wooden coasters to modern standards. Yes, yes, that and, is and, 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 well, do you think they did a good job here with Iron Rossi? They did an amazing job. Their track design, their new track design is unmatched. And there's nothing like it. The experience on this ride is truly one of a kind that you can't find at another spot. Yeah. It's really like a magic ride, you know? And uh, uh, can you tell me, how, how fast does this uh, roller coaster go? It's going over 75 miles an hour. I hit like 76 on the 91 degree drop. 91 and now now 91 91 now you guys know right verticals are 90 degrees so this is 91 this is beyond vertical yes, sir. Yes, sir. so on the first drop you already get airtime you're already out of your seat on the first drop as soon as you go over the lift yeah the excitement starts right there and how many airtime notes do we have um, 12 yeah 12 and uh well we we've seen that there were short short times where it's down could you explain you know since you're a maintenance guy and you work on this all the time yes, what sir. is a common common issue with it being down for like a short time a uh, common issue that we're having is uh, where it arrives too fast into the main brake. So what we do is we grease the wheels as needed and the grease of the wheels slows them down so it, it registers properly. Uh -huh. Basically the, the train has a whole bunch of safety precautions in place that need to 
be triggered for it to allow the ride to run properly. Ah, I see that. So, so yeah, the train is going extremely way too fast. But hey, we all like that, don't it's we? It's all controlled, though. It's not, all controlled not speed. Too fast. Not it's too fast. Speed. Um, are there any braking runs is besides the last braking run? Are there any brakes on or trim brakes on the ride at all? No. no After trim. you, you hear that? The lift, you're gone until the main brake. This is the only brake. Yeah. Hear that? So once you leave that lift hill there, it, it's non-stop thrills. Like I said before, guys, non-stop thrills. But the ride has three different types of brakes. We have actuating brakes that move, we have static brakes that hold it, and I mean, pinch brakes that add pinch uh, brake pins. So three ah. different types of brakes to make sure it stops when it wants to. When it wants to. And we don't want it to stop, do we? Not, not until here. Not until here. Not until here. Okay, guys. Thank you very much, Andrew. It was my pleasure. Oh, hope, hopefully you don't have to work too hard today. Uh, I work hard every day. Well, you work hard every day. Uh, in inspecting the track. Yes, sir. Not, not working on the ride itself, though. Just uh, inspection. We do the, I inspect the whole structure, the few house, the trains, down to the fire extinguishers that we inspect every week. Every day, I do the full rundown of the ride, free tag it, so everyone can enjoy it. Cool. Alright, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and like and subscribe if, you know, you catch it. Like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, folks. Uh, you see right here where there's a couple of beams that come down? These actually were the beams that were cut. Uh, they were just cut a few inches shorter because some tall people could actually reach up and touch those. So yeah, they, they went ahead and cut the wood down a little bit. See, the one nice thing about the first thing in the morning not that many. is not that many people for a long left line. And up we go. She slows down. And here we go. up the whole time oh baby <laughs> oh. again the best ride ever first thing in the morning yeah Please lift up on your left bar and unbuckle your seatbelt. 
Ride number 14 coming up, guys. Ride number 14. So, let's go for it. Number 14 and just as great as the first. <laughs> and second, third, fourth, and all. Well, Bush Garden Junkies, this is a new one. We're getting evac from Cheetah Hunt in the station. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, we were coming into the station and we were between station one and two and the train just stopped for no reason whatsoever. So um, they went back there with a battery or something. I guess they can't release the this. They can't release this until they can figure out how to fix it. So we're getting manually evac. Yay for evacs! Not the evac I wanted. I wanted an evac from Sheepra on the top of the hill. But this will work. Or if it was Cheetah Hunt, the best evac is right in the gully. Before that big huge um, coaster tree hill. But at least I finally have an evac. Mark one evac. Well, we're riding Montu. In the back row. Back row. So no, no POV, but. Look at that beautiful paint job, peoples. Preferred parking? Pack. Oh, look at this. The parking way down there. All of that parking, it's all packed. So, you know, uh, the rest of the day is going to be uh, busy. And here we go. Oh, you're good. Hi there. Can you see the tail? No. No. Yeah. Probably Devi or Akita. Yeah, a little artwork that they've been putting up here. And I think they were putting some more artwork up here on the tower. I'm not sure. Yeah, there it is. You know, beautiful artwork. You got a giraffe, you got a, a, a peacock, and a tiger or a lion here. Probably a lion, yeah. But nice and bright colors. And now they painted inside here too. And Falcons here, you got a 10 minute wait. Artwork here. Over there, there's more artwork. There's, there's yeah, like there to be a lot of artwork like around on the buildings. Nice and bright colors too. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful day. Nice day. Yeah. You guys hear that roar? 
Yeah. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah. It's a really good animal for them. So it'd be like hot and then that's kind of yeah, it's... for a while. Kumba is there to stay oh for a while, people. Oh my god, I didn't know it did that. I didn't know it did that. Oh my god, I thought it was gonna fall out. Holy shit. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> Not sure how the last video came out because it looked like it stopped while we were at top, but we're back again. Ladies and gentlemen, waiting the more coffee theory for your safety, please take a step Right there, look at that nice artwork on that wall. There's Shikra and Tigris and I don't know. Do you see anybody on Shikra? No. I don't see anybody on Shikra either. Yeah, looks like an empty train on Cheeker, folks. And nice view of Iron Gwazi there. Now, uh, yeah, now it's time to look at the ground. <laughs> Along with the nice bright refresh of colors they are just doing a phenomenal job refreshing this whole area. Hand painting. Hand painting that to refresh it. Just love the work they've been doing lately. Really sprucing up the place. Yeah, those definitely came out real good. I know a couple of videos ago, I showed you the lady. She was actually working on putting the paint on this. And it has turned out to be gorgeous. Birds, fish, the gazelle. Uh, stop. Lizard. And uh, it looks like a cheetah, I think. Could be a tiger. But yeah, just wonderful, beautiful work. Nice refresh paint job. Yeah, if they can only get that train station operational. All the beautiful flowers. Springtime is definitely here, folks. And yeah, turns out it got crowded around here.
Oh. Spring break week two. Welcome to all the spring breakers. Sign has not yet changed, folks. Skyride is still closed, but it's supposed to open up summer of 2022. Yeah, we still have the lure keeps. Oh, they're all hidden behind that brush. But Lori's Landing is still closed because of the bird flu. Yeah, we don't want our lure key friends to catch the bird flu. But they are resting. Food and wine festival, guys, out here at Bush Gardens is in full force. Yeah, if it's in full force, we don't want to feel. I think that's only the weekends. I'm not sure. But yeah. Food and wine, I thought they started already. Okay, so we're gonna have to check the schedule about the food and wine festival. Cause it doesn't look open. Well, folks, that'll be it for the Bush Gardens adventure during our, uh, for our 29th anniversary. Yeah, 29 years we've been married and this woman here loves all the rides just like I do. Oh, She's yeah. crazy, just like me. Yep. Crazy like a fox. Oh, I better watch out for what I say. <laughs> anyway, so um, Bush Gardens, Iron Gwazi, best rated ride ever i think yep. and uh well uh, we did get to ride on all the rides again that we wanted to ride on uh again we're at about a hundred and i think 128 subscribers so guys you see that red button wherever the red button is it says subscribe it may be a hassle but go ahead and click on it uh Help me hit about 200 by the end of this year. Thank you all, and that'll be it from the Bush Gardens Junkies.